Well, that is absolutely bloody annoying. What's that? Well, when I put the thing back, when I put the audio back into its position, yeah, I knocked the back, which just lost, dislodged a battery, oh, yeah. which means that all the audio that we had that would have been really, really interesting means I've now got to do it as a voiceover. No, but not oh, well. Not the end of the world. I did try recording a voiceover, but for some reason it all sounded strange. It was as if I was in a swimming pool with all the sort of echoes actually <laughs> underwater at some time. So I did it with the um, subtitles. Some people did actually seem to quite like that. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Angus needed to watch it four times in order to give himself some breathing practice. I think we're, we're lucky and privileged to be able to do them. Yeah, absolutely. There we are. And I'd, I'd be even more happy if, if, you I could could get, if I could get my bloody brakes sorted yeah. again. Jacob's Ladders again. Whenever we play together, yeah. we've got Jacob's Ladders. Yeah. That's probably Dad telling me something. Yeah, more than likely. But yeah, it was a bit annoying because we'd been saying that what had caused the delay in, in us getting over and, and everything, and then we were going to... We got fuel for John's RV and for, for this. Unfortunately, John, when he went into his hangar, saw a puddle of brake fluid oh. underneath his right-hand wheel again. Not uncommon, unfortunately. No. I don't, I don't get it. Every single part of it is new. Every single part. Yeah. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip. Feeling stand here. Before I show you the work that Peter and John did on the RV4 brakes. I thought I would just come back to talking about um, the fairing on the um, Jodel. Once you've removed the bung, the object of the exercise is to move the aircraft until the valve is accessible through that little tiny hole. That, as I did say in last week's video, the big problem with that is nine times out of ten, by the time I've tried to get onto that valve, I've actually let out more air than I can get in, which is why I decided to remove the spats in the first place. Certainly a bit of a palaver to get a cowl off, isn't it? It's a fucking pain in the arse, and yeah. don't, <laughs> don't alter that. Okay, I'll check the other side. Mm. And it's not that one. Yeah. But it is that one. Yeah. There's fluid down. Um, right. And they're, look, they're only 42. Yep. But it's the inconvenience. Absolutely. You wait. You wait for it to arrive. If you. This is what they've sent me. Again. Hmm. That's that should could be out a little bit. If there's no there's no fluid in the um, in the piston, in is the it? master cylinder, to push it out though, is it? No. I must have done this. Well, let's put it this way: at least three times a year. Yeah. And I've had it eight years now. <laughs> Well, I can't see any bugs on that side at this point. That 
same to all, actually. Keep a bit of pressure on it for a minute. Uh, I'll release it. Yeah, put the pressure on again. Yeah. Oh. Will it hold? Yeah. Bloody that doesn't Well, the tubing is very pink, isn't it? <laughs> right to the top, yeah. Well, I can't see any, anything weeping out. That's, that's, uh... Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's ready. Try the other side as well. Is that even? Yeah. Well, it's better than mine. Go on then. Ready? Yeah. Oh, see, that one's on the side. Yeah. And it's, it's sticking out a little bit, like it should. And it's, it's dry everywhere else, isn't it? It seems to be. I just... just Perhaps you've got the magic hands, eh? No. Because... Well, uh, well, I've got lucky. You might... Can you just put your foot on it, just gently? This the left foot, left yeah. foot right. right, here we go. Well, that's it. Because earlier on, that one was full, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's it is going up. To be fair, that's what I've been trying to do all the time. <laughs> yeah, they're both tight as a an old Guinness flat. I can't. See. That, that feels really good. gutted about the fact that we haven't got audio for that first bit but yeah these things happen we got it for the end the flight was lovely the clouds were brilliant um, and well hopefully we've turned it into 
a reasonably interesting video for you. Thank you very much for the support. I would guarantee that you've got one plug going out. Yeah, I've definitely got a little bit of a plug up, hasn't it? Uh, we need to do some work uh, on that, don't we? Yeah, once once we're yeah, it's on that, mate. But uh, might be. Anyway, not yeah. to worry. But uh, yeah, I think we ought to uh, have the plugs out and got uh, paint and that check all bits and bobs. Yeah, and the other thing I've got to do now is I've got to make sure I clean the underside of the wing because I've taken the spurts off. No skin on my hand now, that's an extra tenner on the bill. Okay, it got you, did it? It bit you. It did. That's good luck. but looks all right. If you look, that is almost sort of, I wouldn't say it's corroded, but it's it's well attached to that. Um, it's possible through uh, the damp or whatever, so it might be, if you, and if, if you look closely at that, what the hell was that? Um, if you look at that very closely, that's sort of a, a bit of an angle, a, yeah, there's which an would angle. suggest that um, that wasn't sitting in there properly. Yeah, there was definitely an um on that one. Same here. If you look very carefully, that no, that's really, you know, you, you you should be able to get that copper washer out of there with it. Um, if you look, you've got some fairly Thickish stuff there, yeah, which is stopping that from getting it out um, easily. What we'll have to do, take all, all, we'll get all the plugs out, take them over to the workshop, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we can free that off um, and have a look and see whether or not we want new um, uh, new bits. washers. Yeah, new washers. Yeah, so you say this is definitely one of the ones that hasn't been firing. Well, it, it, I wouldn't say go as far as to say it hasn't been firing, but it hasn't been uh, working. Not been working like the other ones. Yeah, it's not working to full efficiency. See, look, we've got some crud behind there. Yeah. Uh, not the best. No. But um, with the. So if I get a whole set of new washers. Yeah, that's what you want, and and that that's that's the correct. Uh, so the gap is everything. Gap. Yeah. Yeah, and and then that you'll put that on, but I I, yeah. I wouldn't put them on because if you look. You can see that they're not exactly straight. Yeah. They're sort of slightly belled. Mm -hmm. So I think putting new copper rings on it anyway, you know, the proper things. Yeah. So they'll be. So time we've got, time we've got the compressor going and that, and that, in actual fact, what that is in there, if you look very carefully, it's that, um, uh, Thing me, that, it's that, the copperies. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off. You, as you can see, that one has got hot at some point, mm -hmm. and uh, it's got sort of, you know, it's been on there for ages. Yeah. But, but if you look inside, it's very good. 
inside it's very very clean nice gap so we just take this off now clean that and put it in with the ne next ones good so what we're doing is, is they're, they're a bugger to get out but what the thing to do is to put it in the very very edge in the uh whatever you call these bloody on the voice <laughs> these, these bloody things you know these lumps of metal that yeah. we, uh, and then you just not give it a little wiggle and it comes and out it comes as easy out. as anything. Right. And you chuck that away and get a nice new one. So you say on this one, you know, we gaps are okay. Yeah. we just got to make sure that we've got the crud cleaned out on the inside. Yeah. Right. Look at the state of this one. This was the last back one, which I'm not surprised of. But what has surprised me, if you look, that was in pretty poor... Um, state which means that when we go back over to the hangar we have to look at it because it's quite possible that that will have a helicoil in the rear uh, pot mm -hmm. and possibly you know it's got a bit warm because look it's you've got some bypass so consequently this is difficult to come off as you see so not only have we got to check the plug but we've also got to plug, um, to check the plug hole. Okay. We've got a, a fairly good thread there, okay? Mm -hmm. A little bit more, you know, cleaning. But the point is, we now know that, that the thread on that pot has probably been helicoiled. Mm -hmm. And it may have to be done again at some point. Yeah. But we'll have a look at that. And you've got all this gunge because you haven't been getting a good spark. Yep. So we'll go from there. Basically, we've come back to this plug, the last one. It looked as though it had loads of crap in there, which, quite frankly, it did have, but it was only copper slip. Uh, for, but there was perhaps a little bit too much mm -hmm. uh, copper slip. You can see that the actual um, gaps just about right that's my forefinger mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we've, we've given it a quick wash we'll give it another wash and then we'll go and have a look and see if the helicoil is is um, holding on properly right so this engine when it was overhauled it's obvious that, that it's had all the pots have been helicoiled um, this carries on effectively from what we were talking about in the other hangar uh, with the helicoils, one, one or two. This has got mostly helicoil, but looking at them, they have been done professionally, I imagine. Um, they look in good condition. The threads on them and everything are good as gold. So for now then, we're going to uh, clean it all up. Um, get it all nicely put to bed okay and what I'm going to do now I'm going to put some oil in there like so we'll get that in the pothole and we'll do this with all four we'll stop getting dust in there we'll stop getting corrosion in there we might make a bit of a mess but uh, it's better to oops that ain't going to corrode, let's put it like that for a day or so till we get the new uh, gaskets. You don't want to put loads and loads and loads, can you see in the light there alright? Mm -hmm. um, what I do is I just get a little bit like that and then I, I sort of just work it round like you've got a, a decent seating under there and you don't want it to go so it's it's not too much because mm -hmm. it will squidge out then you just the crushable washes are these yep yeah. mm -hmm. and that's as simple as that you go around there now we need some good weather in order to test them all thank you very much for watching and well done if you got this far